Good morning, everyone. It's Javier, and I'm super excited to be with you here this morning for today's training webinar. And we're going to be talking about two things that are very important, very key to your success. The first thing we're going to talk about is it's really an invitation to join me next Saturday. And what I'm going to be doing next Saturday is teaching you how to create a landing page in just 10 minutes for free. You know, the word that we were using the last couple of Saturdays during our webinars uh, it's going to start to apply to all, everything that we do today, which is to automate. You're going to have to automate yourself to free yourself from the day-to-day -day sausage making to, booking a, to focus on where the money really lies. And so automation is very important. And part of that are landing pages. Now, you know, last week I had a few people ask me about website creators. I'm not talking about website creators. I don't want to create a website. I want to be able to create a landing page, not that it's a race, but if you're slow, if you're not you know, tech savvy, it might take you 10 minutes if you do it the way I'm going to show you, and it will be free. And so some of the landing pages that you can run, I mean, literally, there's no limit to what they can be. Uh, working with buyers, that's very important, in my opinion, because obviously you want to uh, have a Rolodex, if you would, full of them as well. Uh, we're talking about Sellers, if you're a realtor, super, super important. Um, and so there's no shortage of what to do. You can also use it to recruit, this is what I personally use it for. And so therefore, it's important for you to understand how simple, and I will call it, I never, I always say, don't call it easy, but it is very easy to be able to do, especially if you happen to be bilingual in whatever language you might, uh, or languages you might speak, you might want to have one. In, in that particular language, I mean, anything that gives you an edge is something you should automate in the form of a landing page. Very, very important and also very simple to do. So I'm going to show you here just one second what I'm talking about that has given me a lot of success just this past week. I mean, it's worked for me for years, of course, but I just want to share something. Let me see if I can pull it up. For instance, here, I'm automating more and more of the people that I work with. Uh, you know, I, I get a lot of people that hit me up from, uh, I was sharing this with Rhett, I have probably about four or five do this, where they just hit me up about coming on board with Radiance and I automate it. I just simply send them this link and say, do me a favor, take a look at the first video. When you do that, uh, make sure you join our text alerts, which was, you know, the uh, image that shows you how to do that. And then once we were ready to go, when somebody says, ah, I need to switch my license or whatever, there's a video on how to submit your ME4 via DBO in California. Uh, there's also how to, a video, a tutorial on how to establish a relationship with HMAC via NMLS. I mean, this is stuff that before we're like, all right, let me get on the webinar. Let me walk you. No, no, you don't want to do that. You want to automate as much as you possibly can. And it's very, very simple. And so again, this is just my personal. You don't need the web, web address. You don't need to ever use it. This is just me. And by the way, this took me about 10 minutes to put together. And I'm going to show you how to do that just as well. Uh, here's another one I put on the financial services, uh, the financial services side uh, right, right here. I'm going to show it to you right now. Uh, th this one took me probably less. This, this one took me probably about five minutes. Let me just go ahead and do this. Amazon, of course, is at the door. Dogs are going crazy. But anyways. Uh, oh, no, that's not that one. Where the hell did it go? Hold on. Um, let me just show you this. This is on the financial services side for what we call the Million Dollar Baby Campaign, which all of you that have kids or grandkids need to watch this, please. Uh, anyway, so I'm just going to show it to you. And this one took five minutes. Not that it's a race, like I said earlier. Uh, let's see. And here it is. Simple. Very simple. So they come here, the video that I send them to is right there, and then they click on the blue button at the bottom to schedule their actual consultation via Zoom. You can create as many of these landing pages as you want. So again, landing pages are not to be confused with websites, even though technically it's a site. Website usually has pages about us and our map and our location and who we are and what the hell we do. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about you just simply automating, especially by leveraging the power of video that we showed you all how to use Camtasia. So I'm not going to get into that stuff. You didn't pay attention. That's on you, not on me. But you can throw up a very quick, quick video or just simply leave it, leave it with images. 
on why you? And I'm not going to ask you that because we usually ask that every week and I get a heart attack when I ask why you, what makes it different, what makes it blah, 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 blah. Uh, So but hopefully you've been working on that. But next Saturday, we're going to work on just what you see here before me, which is, of course, how to create a landing page in 10 minutes or less for free. And so whether it be with the buyer, uh, if you're a realtor, how to work with sellers, whether it be close, just the closing cost assistance program, things that help you generate business that I get. I'll give you an example. I was showing a bunch of them yesterday. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to share my phone. This is my actual phone. Share here. Then we'll just go ahead and open up my phone so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. That's my phone on the screen. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to literally, let's see, let me just show you this part right here. You know, here, Richard. Hi, Javier. My name is Richard. I saw your Radio Mortgage video on YouTube. I'm a licensed realtor in Florida. Take my middle next exam. Whatever. The point of it is, is that it just, it simply works. This is what is, again, automating your marketing, which is what you want to do. Automate it all with your buyers, your refinances, and so on. Just make sure it's compliant. My recommendation is to run it by RETS every time to make sure that anything having to do with Radio Mortgage Bank is compliant, your NMLS ID number, the bank ID number, blah, 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 and all that crap. But the sky's literally uh, the limit when it comes to that. And, and the part that I wanted to train on today to just help you even more is on something called, if you don't use one of these already, you should definitely learn how to use it. It's called a mind map. So I don't know if you have a, a mind map that you already use. I use one called Simple Mind. So they have, there's a free version of it, Simple Mind. It's on the uh, Apple Store. Uh, it's everywhere. Let's just put it that way. So whether you have a Droid, doesn't matter what you have, it's success. It, it's available to you. Or you can even download it onto your computer, which is what I like to do. So I have it on my phone, on my uh, tablet. But I also like to use the uh, actual downloadable one because it's just more stable. I don't have to be connected to the Internet. So when I travel and stuff like that, I'm able to utilize it as well. Uh, having said that, one of the things that I'm going to be using on the website, let me go back over here so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. One of the things that I'm going to be using on the website, let me go back over here. And again, I just this is just the one that I sent everybody to because I'm getting tired of just talking to a lot of people. One of the things that I'm going to do is down here, this is all going to be removed. But right here, there's going to be videos that are like testimonials. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go on StreamYard, which we've used here at Radiant before, and I'm going to interview several of you of the MLOs that are also realtors and just place the testimonials on the bottom as well. So I can easily say, do me a favor. Uh, let me have your phone number because that way I collect their cell phone number, which is I don't want their email, I want their cell phone. And so once I have that, I'm going to send them this link. They come here, they watch the video presentation. They scroll down, they listen to the testimonials, and if they're ready to get started, then they continue further down for more instructions that will, again, free me up tremendously uh, and, and let me focus on the stuff that's making me the money right now as well. So I'm going to be hitting up some of you this week uh, so that we can go ahead and start uh, recording or scheduling, at least I should say, the recording, and it'll be StreamYard, meaning I see you, you see me, so I'm talking, and, and unlike Zoom, that is one person at a time, StreamYard lets you do side by side. So I'm going to say, hi, my name is Javier today. And today I'm going to be interviewing yet another one of our realtors that's also an MLO with our bank to get their uh, thoughts on how this has changed their business. And having said that, let me bring up Mr. Red Stafford. And whoop, he comes up next to me. Red, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Javier. Well, look, it's not going to be long. I just want to take literally a minute of your time. You can maybe tell me what Reading Mortgage Bank has done for you and how working as an MLO versus just a realtor has changed your business. And then whoop, goes to full-size Red. Rhett says what he needs to say, and then we're back to that as, uh, as well. So it's going to be really, really cool uh, to be able to do that. But like I said, I want to switch it over here and talk to you about what I think everybody – see, and the whole thing, like this is the way I – the schematic I created a while, uh, a couple of days, about a week ago, on how I envisioned my landing page working for Radiant Mortgage Bank. And if you look at the schematic, it's almost identical to what's on it right now. Uh, it says RMB 101 home, which is just my code for what, what this one is for. 
there's going to be a welcome BOP, which is just a video that you saw it. And then just going to be step one, step two, step three on what they need to do to come on board. MU4 video on how to submit their MU4. A relationship video, which is what I'm referring to as the interview for you guys that I'm going to ask for your help in doing that. And that's it. That's it. Very, very simple. So you're going to be able to do that in 10 minutes or less yourself. Now, the reason that you want to have your mind map going is because the first thing, if any of you ever want to troubleshoot your business with me, I would be more than happy to do that. But I'm going to need to see ahead of time, send me a picture of all of, your, first of all, your business plan for 2021, and then your quarterly and monthly goals as well that you already have, should have written out, or a schematic, like a mind map of what you are intending to accomplish in 2021. And that's usually as far as it gets, nobody has any of that. So nobody ever hits me up because they don't have any of that. And that's why they are not where they want to be. My recommendation to you is to get in the habit of using mind map technology for anything you want. To, as you can see, I put this together about a week ago and it became a reality by yesterday. So that's the power of it. And so if I'm going to come in here and say, I'm going to create a new mind map, opens up. I always start blank. That's how my brain works, blank. And I'm going to start with a central theme. And in this example, refinances. That's what I'm going to be working on this week. Put this at the top. If I hit the plus, it adds another branch to the tree. Even though it came, it, it, let's just say it pops up above. I'm going to say, let's just say uh, landing page. Just one thing is in a landing page. It's going to feed my, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it wherever I want it to be. So I want this one here, a landing page there. Another thing I'm going to be using are realtor referrals. That's another thing that's going to be helping me. So I'm going to go ahead and put that right there. Uh, another one I'm going to have are going to be, let's just say, emails. I'm going to put that one side by side right there. And so what I'm getting at, this is going to start giving you the ability to envision how it's, whatever the hell you want to accomplish, it's going to look like or what it's going to require. Because this is not, this is just a wish list, by the way, that you see here. You saw my schematic for my landing page. It came true almost to a T. I just got to move the bubbles around. But well, that's pretty cool. It worked that way. Now, in regards to the, now this is for me for the coming week. Emails, I have a big email list of police officers. I come coming to the re realtor referrals. Uh, and I'm going to work only with the California realtors. I have a list of them that I'm going to be working through the California realtors landing page. You can have one for just refis. Another one just for refis for police. And these are going to feed each other because the email that goes out is going to feed into the police uh, list. But for the police list, it's going to also feed the refis that I'm working on through the landing page. So it's only, it, the police email is going to say, if you want to know more, call me or text me at this number. And you can click on this link as well. I like to shorten the conversation as much as possible. I wouldn't send them to a landing page, but I'm just giving you an example of what it is. And so what I'm saying is that if you were to stop right now, download Simple Mind for free and start playing with this to see what you already have going on, it's amazing how many times it'll be blank. And don't stop at just the thoughts that I want to work with police or I want to work. With. No, we're going to only document things that are in progress right now. And a lot of times it doesn't work that way. So again, Simple Mind or any mind map, I mean, you can just download any mind map software. That's the way it works. It's just basically branching off from things that need to be done. But for me personally, it's amazing how many times I put, like you saw the uh, one I just sent you for the Radiant Mortgage Bank. You saw the landing page. This is where it started. I envisioned the home from the home, a welcome BOP video from there, step one, step two, step three, keeping it really simple. And below that, the video or tutorial on the MU4, which is there. I added the one about the uh, how to establish a relationship. And then, of course, re uh, below that, down here, are going to be, and I'm going to put it right down here. I'm going to move it. Uh, the MLOs, I'm going to ask for a couple of you to do your testimonials. And that bad boy will be somewhere down here. And that's it. That's the landing page. 
very, very simple, but very powerful, that if you don't have something like this, my recommendation is to, as quickly as you possibly can, get this going. This is going to help you tremendously. It's also going to show you that you're on the right track or you're just not doing anything. Or if you're at the first stage where it just shows what you intend. Let me go back over here. Uh, if it just simply, where the hell did it go? Hold on. Here. If I'm working on my refinances, my map. Okay, great. I see the landing page, realtor referrals, emails. Those are just ideas of what needs to happen. The legwork, the work goes below that. So if I don't have stuff going on below that, then it's just a wish list. And you cannot hold yourself accountable. You should never hold yourself accountable towards things that, to be honest with you, you just simply are not doing anything to achieve. So don't do that. You'll end up beating yourself up. Nobody wins. I don't want you to do that. I don't recommend you do that. But something as simple as this simple mind, mind map can help you tremendously troubleshoot your business, scale your business, because I can look at this and tell you what's working, what's not. If it's not working, dump it. And whatever is working, pour more resources into it and fuel the flame to make sure that, again, you leave nothing to chance. Because I'm panicking right now, even though we're in the, some would say the early part of January or the year, I'm panicking like we're in November because I don't have a year of my life to lose to anything, especially to mortgages or real estate or any of this stuff. So I leave absolutely nothing to chance. I just had a webinar with my financial services team earlier. We, do, we took a poll, which we're going to do with you guys next Saturday. And in the words of one of our top leaders, it was shocking. It was shocking how horribly everybody scored on the most basic things. Shocking. He said he couldn't believe it. And we're going to do it next Saturday with Radiant. Basic stuff. A simple resource. A simple scenario. A simple... and. The guy said, it was shocking how bad we did. And I, I, I was with him. I'm like, oh, I'm not shocked because I know how people work. I go, but we can't get people to talk on webinars sometimes. You think we're going to get them to go do what needs to be done? Don't get me wrong. They want it. God knows they need it. But man, man, getting people to take the actions that are necessary can be damn near impossible. So I'm telling you, if you want to succeed and make 2021 your best year in real estate, mortgages, or whatever, your best year yet, download Simple Mind onto your computer or just get the app and start throwing stuff down to where your business stands right now. And I guarantee you're going to be like, damn, that's all I got going on. Or if I throw you these three things, but these three things that you see, landing page, realtor referrals and emails are not getting me business, they might as well be blank. And so that's what I recommend you do. Uh, any questions on this, on the mind maps or on the landing pages for next Saturday? Anyone? Yeah. Um, good morning, Javier. Michael here. I, I, I do have a page. I mean, I have a question concerning uh, the Simple Mind. You just go to simplemind.com and, and it, you can download it. Yeah, just Google Simple Mind and it'll take you to the website. Okay. Number one. Number two, I, don't, I didn't understand about the landing pages. Where can I go to learn how to build a landing page? We're going to do that next Saturday. That's our workshop next Saturday. So, oh, okay. Okay. So, okay. yes. Make sure you just plug in next okay. Saturday. And the, the only thing we're doing differently at 10.05, we're not going to allow anybody in after 10.05 because right now, because of security restrictions from Zoom, we have to manually let every single person in. It's annoying. So what we're going to do at 10.05, we're going to shut it down or, or not shut it down, but you're just going to stay in the lobby. So make sure you're in by 9 a.m. sharp because we're going to kick it off and we're going to give you everything you need to create as many landing pages as you want for free. Well, I need to be there at 9 or 10. I'm oh, sorry, 10. Damn, I'm sorry. I do my other one. No, at 10. Oh, okay. But yeah. I can I can download Simple Mind now and start playing yes. with it. Okay. And you should. Okay. Do that right now. It's free. And uh, that's all you do. And also, if you're going to be participating in next Saturday's class on how to create that landing page or landing pages, just make sure you have a Gmail account by then, whether it be a Gmail or whether it be a Google Docs, any. As long as you have a Gmail account, it's all you need to follow along and it'll be free. You know what? I have a I have a Gmail account, but it's just too much junk emails in there. Should I just create a fresh a fresh one? I mean, all you're going to need is the login. You're not going to need the Gmail account itself. You're just going to need the Google. So you're good to go. You, you don't have to open up. Gmail. Okay. Okay. You don't right, have to open up. All right. Appreciate it. Cool. Uh, anybody else? Please. Questions, comments, concerns before I turn it over to Rhett, because that's what I have. The simple mind. Let's get ourselves structured. Uh, let's make sure we leave nothing to chance. And above all. You have to, you're going to have to automate your business, whether it be refis, whether it be anything. And the best way to do that is going to be by the landing pages we're going to build next Saturday morning.
That's a very, uh, very valuable, Javier. I appreciate that doing that because a lot of us are visual and this takes stuff out of the mind and puts it down on paper so you can see the map. So that's, um, that's great. It, so I appreciate you sharing that. No problem. It's a, I've been using this for probably 15 years and it changed my business forever because it, like you said, lets you visualize that if I'm telling you, if I'm saying, no, I'm good because I have a landing page going, I have a realtor referral program going and I have an email. And how many uh, escrows did you open up this past month with that? Well, none. How about the last three months? None. How about the last six months? Then just might as well delete it because it's not working or modified or do something. And this is what it does. Uh, right. Go ahead and hand it over to you, sir. Thank you, please. Good morning, everybody. How are you? Morning. Thanks, Javier. Uh, not much this morning. A um, couple comments. Um, looks like we have... Um, this week we saw rates drop a little bit again. Um, it's very, you probably wouldn't even notice it, but uh, technically we hit uh, another new low this week. I think it dropped uh, like 0 0.004 or something like that. So it wasn't that big of a deal, but um, some uh, news organizations like to report uh, on whatever. I guess it's good that we have some good news. Uh, we had some, uh, Ugly things happen this week in our country, which is too bad. But uh, hopefully, uh, um, we're going to get through all of that and uh, move forward. Um, again, had a great month last month. This month uh, is uh, looking good. Um, we're not going to have break any records this month, um, but uh, uh, we're doing for a January. I think we're well ahead of um, uh, a typical year. And based upon what I'm hearing out there um, and what Javier's seeing out there, I think that uh, um, it's going to wrap up, uh, it's going to work up to a, uh, uh, a really great year. Um, we, have, um, we have some new training I'm working on and um, I hope to uh, uh, put together for... Uh, some of the Saturday courses, I want to do a little bit of uh, training on just getting you guys um, up to speed a little bit more on the process and um, what's involved in the in the process, but also how to help your loans go quicker. Um, part of the uh, um, holdup oftentimes uh, and what takes longer for these loans to get processed is the um, the condition that we get them in. So I want to try and help you um, learn a little bit more about what we do or what I do when I get your emails and, and your financial package and how that gets processed and, and put into the system. Um, the cleaner that you send that um, and the more organized that you send that, the quicker that that, that can be reviewed. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Um, uh, there are times when I look at a uh, uh, an email and I look at the stuff that's uh, that's included in the email, and I have to just put it aside because I don't have time to work on it. Because uh, typically, uh, um, when I get uh, when I get a uh, email from some of our more experienced players, um, I can review that file in about probably 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. Um, there are other files that will take me an hour and a half. And um, that's a lot of time out of my day. Um, and I sometimes just don't have time to do it until, and then it gets put off for um, two to three days just because I don't have time to do it. So I want to try and make it to where uh, I am not um, a hindrance to your fast closing. I am more uh, of a help. So in order for me to do that, um, I need to help you understand what I do and Maybe you make my job easier and I'll make uh, your commission check quicker. All right. So <laughs> that was giving me the thumbs up. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. Other than that, I mean, I think that uh, um, because of the, uh, the, the way the election went, uh, I think we're going to get to see um, uh, some interesting things happen in the housing market. I think we will see a first time home buyers credit. Um, I think we will see a bigger stimulus package. I think we will see um, 
some student loan forgiveness here come, come down the pike fairly quickly. All of these things are going to help our business. Um, interest rates, um, because I think that um, Wall Street really likes what's going on right now. So interest rates um, may edge up a little bit. But long term, I think that uh, with all the other good things that are happening, um, I don't think we'll feel that at all. Um, I think it will help um, uh, our purchase business. It may hinder us a little bit on the refi, but I don't think uh, um, it, we're still going to be well above uh, past years and even well above this last year, I think. Uh, uh, and this last year has been was was really wonderful for a lot of people in our in our company. So um, overall, the company did uh, 104 million last last month. Uh, yes. 300 and, or 20895 loans, I believe is what it was uh, for the company, which is the best month we've had so far. Um, and uh, um, that, again, just like a, a a couple months ago when we talked about this, these types of things it may have no effect on your paycheck um, today, but it, it will have an effect on things that the company is looking to uh, help us with, um, some, some more marketing ideas, some more uh, uh, assistance, uh, some new programs we're working on, um, some uh, more automation. One of the things that happened this last uh, this last week or last two weeks, I guess, ago, um, uh, Rocket Mortgage actually closed the very first ever e-signed FHA loan. So this is a pilot program that they started back in 2019. Um, it was started in 2019. They finally closed the very first one through Ginny May. So. Ginny May handles all the VA and FHA, and they have not allowed any kind of e-signing at all. Fannie Mae and Freddie have, have started this, but now that FHA, Ginny May, um, has um, actually closed something, what they're saying is this is going to um, speed up the one of the processes that we've been looking for, which is the e-sign notarization package. So, um, as most of you probably have heard, um, if you're involved in, if you have a rating bank email, <clears throat> we are now a paperless closing company. What that means is when we send the docs out to the um, escrow, and this is something that you may remember that uh, I told you that um, Travis and I went to um, uh, the company owner uh four months ago i guess and we were talking about the we needed to have the ability to ha let escrow fax back docs and not have to wait for all the snail mail or delivery or all the other garbage that was slowing down our process because um i had told him i said you know i i have several escrow friends and and uh one in particular the main escrow we use um, I was talking to the um, head escrow officer and um, she said, hey, because uh, uh, I was actually the um, uh, the listing side of a transaction that we were doing. And she had sent me an email at, at um, uh, 1030 in the morning saying she was signing docs right then. And at 1230, she sent me an email saying the lender you're just funded. And at four o'clock, she said, Hey, we have confirmation. And so I took that to um, the owner of the company. So look, there, there's no reason why we can't do this. And um, uh, at first to him and Hod, and then by the end of the meeting he said, you know, let me do some checking. Uh, well, that was four months ago. Uh, two weeks ago, we actually started, uh, we actually instituted uh, we are completely paperless now on our closing. So we, we do not need the original docs back. We don't need um, anything back from escrow except for a fax copy. Um, it, it, um, when, it, when, it, uh, when they do what we've instructed them to do, um, they send an email with the docs directly to our scanning and imaging department. Imaging uploads it, stacks it, puts it in the right um, stacking order, puts everything together, puts it over to the funder. And um, 
we did, uh, we've had one, um, it didn't close the same day, but it came in at like three o'clock in the afternoon and it funded by 1030 or 1045 the next day, which is to me, um, I think that's amazing. So I'm very excited about that. Um, I think that we will get better at this um, the more we do it. This has only been going for a couple of weeks, but we've already seen uh, a big change and a big difference as far as um, um, how quickly uh, the loans can close after um, uh, the docs come back. So these are all exciting things that are happening. And these are things that are happening um, primarily because we're doing more volume now. And so the company can afford to do more things, hire more people, um, explore new ideas, and new concepts and new uh, procedures. So um, this is all a good thing for us. And uh, we just want to continue doing our part and putting the, um, uh, putting the transactions in. And, and uh, um, I will say the only, the only um, sad thing about uh, these last few months is uh, Radium Mortgage Bank is no longer number one in the company. We're now number two in the company. Uh, they had a new uh, branch come in that just uh, went crazy. They are, they're, um, they're, they're spending a ton of money on marketing and, and uh, um, they actually uh, are, uh, took over the number one spot. But uh, um, Travis and I have been doing a lot of uh, um, planning and, and working and we're, uh, we're now, we now have our own um, uh, lead generating thing that we're working on. Some of you are involved in that. Um, and, uh, we're looking, uh, we're looking forward to this next year. So we, we want to, we want to regain our top spot. So, uh, I hope you guys, uh, want to be a part of that. Uh, a lot of what we're, what, what we need from you is exactly what, tra uh, Javier is teaching you to do, which is just go out there and, and, and become a better marketer, do more business for yourself, make more money for your, for yourself. Um, we're here to help you in every way we can. Um, we'll always give you our time and our training. Like Javier says, we just won't give you our money. So uh, anything else we can help you with, uh, we're more than happy to do it. Javier. Cool. Thank you, Red. I just want to make sure that everybody got the text or the, uh, yeah, the group text I sent out the, or the chat with the website, simplemind.eu. I know uh, Vanessa was trying to find it and all she could find was the, the band Simple Minds in the flashbacks to the 80s. That's not Simple Minds, it's with the uh, no S, Simple Mind. And I just sent it via the group chat. So uh, good music, but no, we're looking for the simplemind.eu. It's free. Have it down, uh, you know, downloaded, and so we can do that. And then, like I said, all you need for next week is to have a. Well, somebody wants to say hi. Say hi. Crazy. <laughs> I'm babysitting. Wife took off. But anyway, so um, so the key thing is to just go ahead and do that. And I think that if you really just focus on nothing but the marketing element. You know, we're doing stuff uh, on a shoestring budget, if not free, that many other companies are out there just pouring, like like Fred said, pouring money into marketing, which you can do if you want to. Uh, you know, and I do want to get ourselves back to number one, and we're going to do that by empowering as many of you as possible to do your part as well. All you need is a Google account, whether it be a Gmail account, Google Docs, anything with Google, uh, Google to participate in the training for next Saturday. It's free. You don't have to pick anything. And again, it will give you uh, landing pages in 10 minutes or less. So I hope to see you next Saturday there as well. Questions, comments, concerns from anybody before we wrap it up? Anybody at all? Hey, Rad, valuable uh, valuable uh, meeting today, Javier. Rad, thank you. Hey, hey Red, it's Steve. I've got a couple questions for you real quick. Sure, go ahead. <clears throat> so I've got a, a close and it's supposed to be happening next week and I think one the following week. So they should not expect a notary visit. They're going to do it electronically. No, no, we, we're not. There, nobody's doing that yet. I'm saying we're okay. we're on the uh, um, the e, the um, uh, paperless closing for escrow is talking about faxing the documents. Okay. In other words, we don't need the actual paper. The okay. signings are still happening in person and with ink. Okay, I just want to clarify. Thank you. Yeah. Also, uh, second, Travis had sent out the other day a document. Uh, called proper borrower note, uh, proper borrower document nomenclature, um, which I think talks about some of the, of the naming of the docs that you need to be submitted. Um, I don't know if he, if you got a copy of it, if you sent it to him, but it spells out kind of how to label your documents properly and, and all that, that might be helpful. 
That's what I sent to him. That's, I, that's, don't, I don't know if I don't, you sent it. I sent it to him. Great. Um, and that's for your group. Oh, okay. Okay, great. Yeah, that's for your group with him. Okay. That's not for um, not for public dissemination yet. Okay, great. Thank you. All right. Anybody else? Please, questions, comments, concerns for wrap it up. Hey, Javier, the Simple Mind is a free platform, or do we eventually have to pay for it? No, it's free. the basic one is free. That's really all you need. If you want to upgrade, I mean, you can do that, but you don't really need to. Okay, thanks. All right. Well, if no one has anything else, I just want to say thank you for all you do and challenge you to go out there and make this the most productive week of your mortgage business and understand that we're closer than ever before to where we get so many people that are getting paid every 1st and 16th, but we need more people to join the ranks. And I invite you, if you're not already there, to be part of that elite group and go out there and like I said, make this your best year in the mortgage or real estate business ever as well. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a great week. Bye-bye.